pop her up to set up for draw fate and it's draw power. So let's see where this goes. Skyscraper. Let me guess. Heroes. I need a hero. Let's see that ash or whatever else you're gonna do. <laughs> ass. Go ahead, end your turn. Well, you're gonna have to play different. Adapt. Adapt. Up, oh, you don't get your effect. Mystic Mine in full effect. And now, since pop her up. I took damage because I didn't special summon any performer pals. I can freely go into draw feet. Let's see what this guy do. Uh oh. Does that pierce? If that shit pierces, we're in for a hell of a loss. Well, you powered it up if you don't pierce. I don't, I don't understand my guy. I don't understand my guy. Uh, what if he's playing Black Ops? Don't mind the violence. Uh, just for safety? And you're 19 back again, boy. So, let's get that other piece to our hand. I don't care, I have two monsters. I think I give a fuck. I think I give a fuck! <laughs> I have two monsters, now you're guaranteed you don't have your effects. So if you had Ash, now you can't use it. Boy! Now we're going to our main phase two and freely activate Draw Fate. This whole deck's purpose is to work with Draw Fate. And pop, perform pal popper up is just extra draw power, it can reshape your hand. If you have cards you don't no longer lead because you got two and three elves, you can get rid of the extras, draw cards for up to three, and if you don't have a performal power card to special summon, uh, you, you lose a oh, thousand light points. So guarantee with the right setup, you can um, basically set up for draw fate while well, getting rid of cards reshaping hand for draw power. That came out in the Magician set that just came out. Yeah. Shout out to 24-7 Yu-Gi-Oh! I think it's called. It's a little kid. I saw um, his Exodia build and he showcased a card. Uh, that's an interesting card. And it could work perfect. The whole strategy of my deck, you know, we rock that Mystic Mind. But the true purpose is to set up Draw of Fate. So that way, we can just stack our Exodia pieces, control what we're going to do, and go from there, like, bong, Exodia. And the card is Performer Pal Popper Up. Send up to three cards from your hand to the graveyard, so you can set up with this, as you saw. Um, and what? Huh? Twenty twenty BB GG. Anyways, uh, I clicked on the wrong card since I was typing. But send up to three cards from your hand to the graveyard, draw that many cards. Then you can special summon as many monsters from your hand, which includes a name, Performer Pal, Magician, Pendulum, Magician, Pendulum, Monsters, and or Odd Eyes Monsters. If it's that Magicians, that would have been <laughs> fucking funny. Um, it's that Magician of Faith. <laughs> um, each with a level between the Pendulum Scales. So, if you're running a Pendulum deck, so then it's just a draw three. And then you're reshaping your hand. But either way, I like using it in this deck because of the part, if you did not special summon by this effect... You lose a thousand life points for your hand. Now you do have to be careful because this deck does 
get rid of a lot of life points to secure draw fate and exodia so you do have to be careful but like you saw reshape my hand had the setup and then guarantee you can trigger your one day apiece i mean um your draw fate you really should if your life points is lower than your opponent and and your opponent has highest attacking monster we real three cards stack them so you know we stack exodia as you saw and then the other thing but i have a new deck profile coming soon i'm just waiting for something to come in the mail i have the deck complete i'm just waiting for something to come in the mail um let's check it out so you can see i forgot to exit that right properly uh draw fate so the the extra doesn't really matter, but you want a whole bunch of generic tools. I'll make a deck profile as soon as I get uh, something special coming in the mail. But basically, the five pieces of Exodia, one Nibiru, which you can search off of which, and I was running three Legion, the Fiend Jester, but I cut it down to one for the simple fact that a uh, pot of Avarice came out, so. It was meant to bring back the any limbs that are in the graveyard to bring it back to your hand. But I figured since I have Pot of Avarice, everything goes back in the deck. I could keep searching again. We'll cut down one for the Nibiru, which we put back. And then, you know, the three, the witch can search Nibiru. So if you have Dark Factory more production set up with um, Mystic Mine and let's say Witch on the field. They summon a monster, get rid of which with, um, <coughs> sorry, get rid of which with the effect of Dark Factory, you draw one, you draw one, and then you search off a witch, so you're plusing one, um, and you could do that every turn, every time you could just set witch, activate Dark Factory more production, you'll draw a card, and you search, so off of this Combined with which on the field, you can search Nibiru, so we only have it at one. Just in case you open up um, Dark Factory with which, you can search on Nibiru, so if, they, if you know you're playing a combo deck, they'll try to play around it or um, won't summon as much. So hopefully you don't get punched in the face. Um, then we, like I said, we run the Draw Fate, which is, um, I mean the Draw Destiny. Well, it's called Draw Fate, I'm bugging. They have it renamed here. Um, that's the main card of the deck, so you could you could you stack what you want and what you need, and then we run two perform a oh, pop up, which you reshape your hand. You can get rid of if you already have Mystic Mind established and um, let's say Field Barrier or whatever else you have set up. Um, you could rescope um, if you have the extra cards in hand, like let's say you have these three in hand, but you don't need them because you already have the field locked. You can use Performer Pal to get rid of these three. And depending on your hand size, you lose a, light, a thousand life points for each of them. But you will draw three. So you're getting rid of the cards you don't need in hand to replace them. And then you keep going from there. And if you're tied at 8,000 life points, let's say you only had these three cards in hand. You use Popper Up. You get rid of these three, draw three, and then you take 3,000. So now you're under. Um, you have 5,000. Your opponent's at 8,000. And since they'll have a monster, you can just do um go into a, your draw fate combo, and just stack your cards of whatever you need for basically just summoning Exodia. You get your trap protection. And we run two of these. So I'm scolding. One obliterate gets we get monsters in the graveyard, bounce stuff and control the fate. Even if they're on the Mystic Mind, they try to summon out second monster, just bounce it. So just to stay with the one, and then you accumulate cards. So if you have protection in the back row. You just, you know, send pieces to the graveyard. Be careful of what they're playing. And then you can just pot of Avarice, so. And then as a um, putting cards back, you can go back into Witch. Um, searching again with um, Dark Factory. I love doing that. Um, two pot of, um, pot of Extravagance. I'm, I made the build compared um, to what I have in real life. So I only have two pot of Extravagance in real life. So I'm only going to play two in the game. So, you know, I'm playtesting what I have. The extra deck is just extra. Um, I got only one of these in real life and a whole bunch of generic twos. Like I said, once I get the card I need in the mail, I'll be um, putting up the deck list 
with the special thing I'm waiting for in the mail, which is taking a little longer than I expected because I said it'll be here by the 5th. But, you know, I'm still waiting, so. And that's, that'll be our updated Draw Fate Exodia deck build, which I decided I will be taking to Regionals. And I figured since Regionals is in NYC Brooklyn three times out of the year, I, I said, why, make, why not make it traditional where the first Regional will go with Exodia? And then the other two regionals will play with our Stardust uh, Chaos Assault mode on build. Especially after April, um, the band, the format will be changed. So yeah, drop a like, dislike, don't really care. Just showcasing different strategies and a deck that is built to surround and support Draw of Fate um, to go into your Zodia plays. I just like Exodia, so yeah, that's it. Latest.